Hey everybody, I'm back, and I know I talked about Babcock in my last video, but there were some shocking things I leaked out to the public on Sunday evening about some of Babcock's scummy way of coaching, if you can even call it coaching. The Toronto Sun published a story where it was revealed in the 2016-17 season, Mike Babcock wasn't happy with one of his rookies work ethic, and asked this player to write a list of the hardest working to the least hardest working player on the team. What the rookie didn't know though, was that Babcock would reveal the names on the bottom of the list to the affected players. We now know that it was Mitch Marner that was asked to write the list and he put Nassim Kadri and Tyler Bosak at the bottom of the list. And Marner was left in tears after being straight up betrayed by his coach and the players were obviously not happy with the coach either. And my initial reaction to this was just disgust but if I'm being honest I wasn't too surprised. I always had a feeling that there's some shadiness to Babcock and this just proves it. And obviously there's shadiness to probably every coach but this is just on a whole different level. And it's such an awful thing to do as well, and especially to a rookie who already has so much to think about. Martin was a fourth overall pick, playing in the toughest hockey market where your every move is put under a microscope. To have that pressure on you and then have this so-called homework given to you by your coach, it's just disgraceful. Now obviously, Marner turned out fine after this and he's been pretty good for the Leafs, being the top point scorer for back-to-back -back seasons, but I don't think it was thanks to Babcock's list thing. And I'm just straight up dumbfounded by all this. Did Babcock really think this was a good idea? Supposedly he's got a degree in sports psychology, but I cannot for the life of me see what he was going for here. I get that you want your rookie to adapt to the NHL game, and giving him homework, if you can call that, is reasonable, but with today's technology and analytics, you'd think the homework would be something like watching clips of yourself to get better? Anything other than writing lists of who's the most hardest working and least hardest working player on the team. Now sure all of us aren't NHL players, so we can't relate in this particular case, but imagine you're at your work and your boss tells you to write a list like this. Do you think that would go very well at your workplace? I'm pretty sure the answer is no, and your relationships with your co-workers will probably be thrown out the window, but I guess NHL locker rooms work in a different way because you get closer to each other and you build something special compared to a normal job, which was the case for Marner here thankfully, and he went out and said that he was lucky that the guys were there with him, and none of them took it to heart and they knew it wasn't up to him. So good on Kadri and Bosak, very bad on Babcock. And we also got all of this confirmed by none other than Mike Babcock himself. Elliot Friedman and a few other reporters went out and said they had contacted Babcock and what they got was this, quote, I was trying to focus on work ethic with Mitch, focusing on role models, ended up not being a good idea. I apologized at the time. Did he apologize for it? I don't think we'll ever know. It's tough to say, apparently he did this in Detroit as well, so he's got a history of doing this, but I guess he did fine in Detroit, he went on and win the Stanley Cup, but it's still such an awful thing to do. And after all of this, I'm left with one burning question which may get answered soon. What more shady things have Babcock done? Because if he's capable of doing this, there has to be some other things he's done too, because we've all seen the Mike Commodore tweets about him treating him like crap. We heard Jeff O'Neill go off on him on Overdrive last night. I'll play some of it right now. I left Collingwood today. It took me two hours and I called five different players that played for Mike Babcock and they all said the same thing because I had to kind of get the gist of this. Hard working coach, very dedicated to his craft, loves winning hockey games, loves hockey. At the end of the day, one of the worst human beings they've ever been around. And that's a sentiment through every player I talk to. And as I'm making this video, we got another coaching bombshell in the NHL. Former player Akim Alou came out with this tweet about Bill Peters. And it's much worse than what Babcock did. And I'm probably gonna have to make another video just on Bill Peters and this whole situation. Because like I said, it's much worse than what Babcock did. This is awful. But that's gonna have to be for another video because this situation is, like I said, much worse. And usually I would ask you guys what you think about what I'm talking about in this video about Babcock. But I think we all agree on that what Babcock did here was completely wrong. But hey, if you disagree or have any other thoughts, leave them in the comments below. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.